Instead of watching 7 videos on voice meter banana to learn how exactly this program works, you can watch this video and I will explain you everything you need to know to understand it all. What's up everyone, Yell here with the Video Nerd. Voice meter banana can look pretty complicated at first sight and breaking those things down and explaining them in an easy to understand way is what we do on this channel. So if you're into streaming and content creation and you're taking it seriously then make sure to click the subscribe button because this channel is just perfect for you. First of all you will need to download voice meter banana. I will put a download link in the description so go ahead click on it, download the program, make sure to restart your computer and then you're ready to follow the tutorial. The first step of setting up a mixer like voice meter banana is making sure that your audio passes through the mixer. Now to do that on windows right click on the sound icon at the bottom and go to the sound settings. Then on the top instead of making your audio go to your headset or to your speakers, click on the drop down and then select audio voice meter VAIO. Make sure you do not select the aux VAIO but just this one. Ok, then we can close this again and now instead of sending my audio to my headphones my PC will send my audio to voice meter banana. So right here we are in voice meter banana and I will explain all the columns at first so you understand what everything means. The first three columns are the simple hardware inputs. One of these three should be your microphone input so let's select the hardware input one and choose your microphone right there. For me it's this one Steinberg this is my audio interface so I will select this one and you see it's already picking up my microphone. And when you're selecting your audio devices make sure that you pay attention to what it says in front of it. Right here you see WDM. MME, KS or some other thing and this is the driver that's being used. WDM has the least input lag so usually that's what you want to go for but if you have a bad connection or a crackling sound etc you can try another driver right here. But do mind that when you select one driver you need to select the same one for every other input or output you are going to set up in the future. Then in the middle we have two virtual inputs. At the top of our first column you can see voice meter VAIO and this is what we chose as our audio output in our windows sound settings. So this means that all our desktop audio so YouTube, games, Spotify etc. It's all coming in through this column right here. The second column right here is voice meter aux. Later in the video we will set up this column so it goes to our streaming program. So right now what you need to keep in mind is that everything that we are sending to this column right here will go directly to our stream. Then the section on the right is for our hardware output. So this is as the name says is to send audio to hardware devices like speakers, headphones etc. We have three outputs right here, A1, A2 and A3 and we will be using A1 to output our audio to our headset. So let's click on it and then right here it's already selected. Make sure you use the same driver as you selected before for your microphone. So WDM, headphones right here, OK. So right now we did set up the very very basics of the voice meter program. So what's happening right now is our microphone is coming in through this column. Then our PC audio so our games, music etc is coming in through this column. And everything is going out through this column A1 to our headphones. Of course voice meter banana is used to control which audio is going to your stream, which audio is going to your headphones, which audio is going to both, making sure you can lower the audio in your headphones and not on your stream etc. So that's what all the A's and the B's right here at the bottom are being used for and that's what I will explain right now. All the A's right here and the B's in all columns are being used to send audio to different columns right here in the voice meter program. But before explaining them exactly you need to know what all the columns are. So let's quickly go over the columns. This is A1, this is A2 and this is A3. Then this column is B1 and this column is B2. 
Now, what are they used for? Well, right here, our hardware input one is where our microphone is coming in. Now, right here, you see that A1 is selected. So what does this mean? Well, our microphone is coming in right here and because A1 is enabled, it's being sent to the column A1. And since A1 is our hardware out for our headphones right here, that means that our microphone is going directly through our headphones. Then right here, this column, voice meter VAIO, this was where our PC audio was coming in. So if I want to hear my PC audio through my headphones, so my games, YouTube, etc., and that's something we want to hear in our headphones, then we need to select A1 right here. So then our PC audio is coming in through this column, and because A1 is enabled, it goes to column A1 through our headphones. Now, of course, our stream also wants to hear our gaming sound and our music. So to do that right here, when the PC audio is coming in, we will enable B2 because B2 is this column right here. And as I said previously in this video, the voice meter aux column is what we will be sending to our stream. So then of course, what else does our stream want to hear? Our microphone. So in our microphone column, we can also enable B2, which will send our microphone to the B2 column, which is this one, and then it goes to our stream. We can then disable A1, so we do not hear our microphone through our headset. So right now to break things down, what's happening exactly? Well, our PC audio is going to our headphones and to our stream and our microphone is only going to our stream. If you want to add some basic effects to your microphone live on stream, then you can move this square right here and usually this is a pretty good position to add some basic effects, make it sound a bit more deep and warmer and usually this works fine. Now the next thing is adding our Discord or any voice chat program you're using and making sure that you can hear your friends talking but your stream cannot hear them and for that we will need an extra program which is VB Cable Virtual cable. I will put a download link in the description. It's a small program, but make sure when you installed it that you restart your computer because otherwise it will not work. After installing virtual cable, let's go to Discord to set up the sound settings. And I see that while recording this video, we have someone who just joined the Discord channel. So let's welcome her to the channel. Okay. And you have to be honest, this is the perfect opportunity to promote my Discord. If you want to join a growing community of like-minded people who are into content creation, streaming, social media and are trying to grow together, then make sure you go to our Discord in the description and just say hello. And it also looks like she has a great question. She's asking how she can use cues on her stream to make people queue up and then join games with her. And that's actually something that I will probably make a video on in the future. Uh, I will answer her question after the tutorial, but for now, let's click on the gear icon, then click on the voice and video settings. And then as your input device, select your microphone, which is my audio interface for me. And then as your input device, you want to select cable input VB audio virtual cable. Okay, like this. So what we are doing with this is sending our audio from our Discord, so our friends who are talking, we are sending it to the input of a virtual cable. And when we go back to voice meter banana, right here as our hardware input, we can select cable output audio virtual cable. So now we are sending our discord audio to the input of the cable and then the output of the cable is connected to voice meter banana and it's coming in right here. So this column will be importing our discord sound. Of course, right now the A's and the B's are all deselected, so the sound that's coming in right here is going nowhere. So we want to hear our friends in our headset, and since our headset was the A1 column, since this A1 column is going out to our headset, we want to be sending the Discord column through A1. So now our Discord audio is coming in right here, and because A1 is selected, it's going to this column, the A1 column, and it's going to our headset right here. 
Again, make sure when you're selecting this that you use the same driver prefix as you used for your microphone right here and for your headset right here, which is WDM in my case. So now we as a streamer can hear in our headset our PC audio and our Discord friends and then our stream can hear our PC audio and our microphone and that's the way it should be. Now because we have all these sliders in voice meter banana and everything is going to different columns we can do some interesting things. So let's say that you need to hear something in your headset but your stream can absolutely not hear it then you can mute your desktop audio for your stream. So right here our desktop audio was coming in. So you just disable the B2 column and then the audio is only going to your headset and not to your stream. Also the other way around, if you want to make things a bit more quiet for your stream but you want to keep hearing them, right here this column is going to your stream so you can just reduce it a bit so then your streaming audio will be more quiet but your audio is still the same. Let's reset this by double clicking on the slider. Now another thing you can do is changing the volume of your microphone for your discord and for your stream separately. Because when we go to discord and we go to our settings again, right here we can see that as our input device we directly chose our microphone. So for discord the microphone is not going through voice meter. So if you reduce the input volume right here then your microphone will be more quiet for your discord friends. But as we can see on your stream, it will still be the same volume. Same right here in voice meter. If you mute your microphone for your stream by clicking on B2 and disabling it so it doesn't go to this column, so it doesn't go to your stream, then your Discord friends will still be able to hear you because it directly imports your microphone. Now the last step is making sure that the voice meter aux column actually reaches your stream. And to do that we will be going to Streamlabs OBS, click on the settings icon right here and then click on the audio tab right here. And there you want to disable everything except for mic auxiliary device 1 or your microphone input in whatever streaming program you are using. Then just click the drop down and select voice meter aux output. So what's happening right now is the same thing we were doing for our Discord. When we go back to voice meter, you can see that right here we were sending our streaming audio to voice meter aux to the input of the aux cable. Then our audio goes through the aux cable to Streamlabs OBS and it comes in right here as your microphone. So the output of the aux cable is connected to Streamlabs OBS. So all your streaming audio comes in through your microphone input. Then you might have to disable the desktop audio because all your audio is coming in through the voice meter aux output right here. Now right here you can see that it's working because when I'm talking it is moving and it's actually going into the red a bit so then you can go to voice meter and you can just reduce the volume a bit like minus 3. Let's test this, okay. And then you can see when I talk it's only going into the yellow. So that way you can tweak everything in voice meter. This is controlling what you are hearing. This is controlling what your stream is hearing. And then this is your microphone separately and this is your discord sound for in your headset separately. Now when I would play some Spotify on my PC as my music or gaming sound, you see when I press play on Spotify right here, when I shut up, it's still moving because Spotify is playing and it's also picking that up for on my stream. So as you see everything is working and you can experiment with these things of course everyone has different needs maybe you don't need discord you need something else you name it there are a lot of possibilities with this and since you understand most things right now it will be pretty easy for you to test around with everything. Now if you want to learn more about setting up your stream and creating online content etc make sure you subscribe to this channel because we are teaching all those things and some more. Please drop a like if this video helped you, say something in the comments and I will see you in my next video. Have a good day.